Hello my Sock Universe to something completely new. I have done jersey reviews so far on this channel but I've never done it for the Austrian Bundesliga and I decided since I gave this uh, preview I actually might as well do it because you know uh, it is the league that I follow closely. There are probably some uh, jerseys in there or some teams in there that you have no idea most likely how they look like and I think Austrian jerseys there is a certain um, how to say a certain exotic factor to them mainly because of many 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 sponsors now uh, water wise I'm very ill prepared for that one because I only have jerseys of one team and that team will be in the final video so I will not change much my jersey I will wear this beautiful 2016 Austria away jersey and as for the backdrop I have decided well let's go with the nations of the most uh, uh, with the most frequent nations uh, so which nations the players have and yeah it's not surprising um, lots of Austrian all Austrians some uh, Germans Croatia and Switzerland I mean there is Serbia of course in there as well but Croatia and Switzerland is also not too surprising in there. Uh, there are a few surprise additions. We have a few French players, <laughs> enough that, it, uh, that they're there. Uh, Greeks and Mali. Quite interesting. Okay, how did I choose the teams for this video? First of all, we have only 12 teams. Usually I do four videos per league. And that means for a 20 team league, it's five teams in a video. And I was going back and forth, uh, you know, for an 18 team league, I make two with five and one and two with four. And I was thinking, well, maybe I should do three videos with four teams. Um, but I bounced that idea off my wife and she said, you know, better do four with three teams. We'll make it maybe shorter and sweeter. Knowing me, how I can ram ramble on, that might not be the case. But I actually like the idea to also have for the Austrian Bundesliga. Uh, four videos, three teams each. Now I did, how did I decide on teams? Same as I always do. I take the standings from last year, the final standings, and go one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four. And now in this video you find everyone with four, which is Red Bull Salzburg, Austria Wien, and SV Ried. And I put them then in some sort of different order that you saw on the thumbnail. So I would say we'll jump right into it and we'll start with one of the most traditional teams in Austria, which is of course Austria Wien or Austria Vienna, who are reusing their jerseys, but now they have a main sponsor. I uh, remember Austria Vienna was about to go under, they wouldn't get the uh, player's license and then this insignia group came along kind of a little bit of a shady business whatever but they came they came along and they are now uh, a strategic partner they plastered uh, it, uh, themselves on the front i have to say when i saw this jersey the first time i and it's no uh, secret i mean austria vienna is not a team that i like a whole lot uh <laughs> almost there's almost no team that i like a whole lot i made a video of how i hate all of them so yeah, Austria Vienna, uh, I saw this and I have to say I initially liked this. Um, or I, I immediately liked this one. There is something about it with the two tones of purple and using this France template from uh, the current France shirt, but you know, instead of having the red stripe here, it's all uh, a lighter shade of purple. I really, really am in favor of this look. It's a very, very strong look. And this is a fan shop picture. So if you buy it like this, it actually looks also really, really, really nice. However, if we go in league play, uh, there are a whole lot more sponsors on there. First of all, it needs to be the Bundesliga logo, which in Austria is always on the right side, which very often interferes with the sponsor. So it's very often very uh, awkwardly placed. And then you see already the many uh, sponsors there. Curiously enough, I once was looking, um, not necessarily to buy it, but I, will, I wanted to inform myself how much would such a jersey be, you know, for a mystery exchange or, or whatever. And you, I think you can get the jersey by itself for around 65, so it's not too, too expensive. However, if you want to have it to full league specifications, you pay for every little patch extra, so that if you want to have it really how it was, was worn, you easily pay over 100 euros. And then add a name and a number, it's crazy. 
I think by itself the jersey looks really really nice and I'm going now really by the base design that you can you know for me it is really really hard to judge Austrian jerseys because shall I uh, judge them how they're worn in the league shall I judge them how I can buy them for the, or the base design that's behind it I want to go with the more positive note we will see plenty of shirts with sponsors where you can get them uh, like that, that as well but this one to me just in this version nine stars the away jersey uh, is commemorating now that Austria Vienna uh, celebrating the 110th anniversary but the jersey itself is rather lame and I really would wish that Austria would go back to their very traditional look from the 30s with the purple shirts that had like this uh, white cutout on front this one doesn't do much to me it is rather boring uh, and of course many many sponsors added on uh, in league play as well so yeah uh, but even without that I like the golden outline but then there's not much more that I can say about that one so I'm gonna go five stars it's a rather disappointing affair moving to upper Austria close to the border with Bavaria we have SV Ried and Hummel we'll see actually quite a few suppliers out there and despite that there has been a few teams that have shifted to quite, uh, quite sort of bigger so, uh, suppliers now SV Ried you can buy this jersey two league specifications in the store it's just extremely expensive now there are a few things that I really like about this I mean Hummel is usually doing a really good job and um, if there weren't all those sponsors especially on the sleeves and here and then the box sponsor um, on the chest this would be a really really nice looking shirt of course they also have the upper austrian crest the government gave them the after last started Reed needed to do it as well because you don't want to be uh, disadvantaged um, I really like the Viking helmet uh, which goes down to the nickname of the team which are the Vikings for some weird reason I think the first fan club was kind of the Vikings or whatever uh, it doesn't may, hey, make a whole lot of sense but ever since the team is ca they call themselves the Vikings so you have a Viking helmet on there which I think is a really really nice design and a Danish firm will probably deliver on that part I particularly like that on the proper left sleeve we have a so-called Leberkäse symbol so this bread roll with some meat in there which just cracks me up every time I see the team and I don't even want to get started what's on the back uh, this is one of those jerseys that a little bit is suffocated by sponsors there are a few things to like but um, all these sponsors just bring it down 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 and we are at six stars and the away jersey in red first of all I always want I mean they seem to go along fine with uh, red and green jerseys and then have black and white pants to go with it so it always works it's more or less the same shirt in red with some green accents yeah when green you have to have 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 into them it's one with black pants so you have the two traditional colors i always want one wondered why they're not going with a white one but yeah i guess you need to have the sponsor stick out even more i uh, also gonna go this with uh i actually feel bad for six stars but you know uh i actually like the base design with the viking helmet so six stars this and now we go to the big boy the bully on the block which is of course a Red Bull Salzburg um, who have been over the past three seasons moving away from their traditional look that you have seen with Leipzig which means white shirts red pants to more red they had like a red and white striped jersey then they had like sort of uh, totally weird half and half jersey and now they went all red because in Europe they have been wearing red and this was super popular now they do it in the league and it is uh, red with the white pinstriping across I do understand the move to a certain degree uh, because it is a stronger look and also you want to differentiate yourself from your sibling in Leipzig where you have absolutely no connections with hint 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 wink 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 uh, but I have to say of the last few shirts this is probably the best one I'm not so uh, you know traditional look with Salzburg is probably something uh, a rather ridiculous statement given that this is a team with hardly any tradition except now they have a winning tradition 
but the jersey itself is not uh, is not that that bad and i actually do uh, and don't like it as much as the austria vienna jersey but uh there is something here i mean pinstriping is always fine uh curious things that happen in 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 the league is a uh, of course, the league patch needs to be added, and then there usually are very little sleeve sponsors on the Salzburg shirt because Salzburg is one of the few teams that don't need to mar their shirt with these. However, for one player every season, it's usually the star player, they change the sponsor. Where they look for Rauch, which is a fruit juice um, brand. I'm not even sure how related they are to Red Bull, and I probably should have researched that, but I find this a very curious move. I think a jersey itself is fine. It's eight stars. I always have to say I like the away jersey for Salzburg always a teeny bit more. I think this navy yellow combination just works. Um, but does it lift it above the other? I wouldn't necessarily say so. I would also go with eight stars here. I actually think it's a little bit too little yellow if it wasn't for the blatant marketing on the shirt. And so there you go, video one is in the books, uh, please let me know which shirts you liked in there. How many teams in here did, 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 did you know? I think two you should have made. And yeah, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I will talk to you soon with part two. Bye! I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so that you get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day!